Hey everyone, my name is Scott Niska, and I live in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. I'm a photographer, and I decided to make this video about my greenhouse journey. Now, the Upper Peninsula is a beautiful place to live, but it can be very challenging if you're a gardener. We have long and snowy winters, a pretty short growing season with relatively cool summer temperatures, and the winds can whip up off of Lake Superior without warning. Growing up in central Minnesota, we had rich soil, long hot summers, so anything that you put in the ground would pretty much grow. So moving to the Upper Peninsula where we have a very challenging environment to grow a garden in, there was a really big learning curve for me. After a couple of summers of living here, I knew that I needed a better environment to grow plants in. So I started experimenting with low tunnels and high tunnels and a, even a DIY greenhouse but the winds off of Lake Superior either wrecked them or blew them completely away. Before they blew away, we really saw the benefits of a greenhouse and I knew that I wanted a greenhouse. The problem was, pretty much the only greenhouse that could hold up to our conditions up here was a commercial greenhouse and that was just out of my budget. And so I knew I needed something that not only could withstand the wind, but also withstand 250 inches of snow or more in the winter. So I was doing a lot of research and I came across planted greenhouses. As soon as I saw the image of a bunch of people sitting on the top of the, of the greenhouse, I was hooked and I needed to know more about them. So the more that I dug into planted greenhouses, the more that I liked their, their products. Not only are they wind rated and snow load rated, but they're also backed by a warranty. And so that was enough for me to have the confidence to order my Sun Grow 26. So the installation of the greenhouse was time consuming, but we made it a family affair and, and just had a lot of fun with it. We put the first crops in our greenhouse in the ground just to get things going and it was pretty amazing because in one month time everything that was growing inside of the greenhouse had caught up to and even passed what we had growing in our garden. Now I'm not going to say it was that we were successful with everything we grew because there are definitely learning curves and challenges that you face when you when you have a greenhouse but when we were pulling produce out in the middle of November in the Upper Peninsula when it was snowing we knew that we had made the right choice. So the greenhouse itself is super sturdy it is robust it's a joy to grow in it's a joy to be in it's fun to come in here and take the kids in here and have them doing garden chores and they don't seem to mind it as much in here as they do in the in the garden one of my favorite features about my sun grow 26 is actually my automatic venting windows i leave for work in the morning i don't always remember to open the doors in, in the middle of the summer as soon as it warms up they're open they're letting fresh air in and it just gives me peace of mind that I don't have to always remember or be on the ball enough to open the windows when it gets hot. So I knew that the real test for this greenhouse was gonna be how it performed in the winter. Uh, like I mentioned, we have 250 inches of snow on average. Uh, we get super strong winds blowing off of Lake Superior. And so I knew that if it could withstand those two conditions, it was definitely gonna be something that we hold on to for a long time. We ended up getting about 270 inches of snow this past winter and I tell you what, I came into the greenhouse quite a few times during heavy snow, during high wind periods and I was never ever concerned that the greenhouse wasn't going to survive the conditions. Overall I'm really impressed with the fit and finish and the durability of my planted greenhouse. Not only are we providing a better growing environment for our plants, we are extending our growing season on the front end and the back end, and also over the winter, which was never a possibility before. So I can't recommend plant to greenhouses enough. If you live in an environment that gets a lot of snow or a lot of wind, ours has performed beyond expectation, and I don't know how I could grow a garden in the Upper Peninsula without my plant to greenhouse.